I'm here in Cisco and I'm very pleased to be able to talk to Ken Carlin, who is head of HR. Ken has been responsible for many of the innovations that HR has brought to the company. So what are these innovations and how have they worked? One of the key things we did about five years ago was recognize that we had to have a better understanding of how our operating units were uh, working. And so we put together four key metrics, uh, the customer, operations, human capital, and financial. And in the human capital side, we actually cut at that three key dimensions. The first dimension is work climate or satisfaction level, which is very important in that if you have employees that are committed and satisfied, they should be, but not always, more productive and in building greater capability. So we also look at how many employees per 100,000 cases that we sell is another human capital metric, which gives us how our climate's doing, and then if our employees per 100,000 cases are at a high standard, then we look at are we retaining those people in warehouse, sales, finance, administration, each function as well as an aggregate. And those are the three major dimensions. We do the same exact thing in the financial side, in the operations side, and in the customer side so that there's a bundle or a pattern of metrics that we're able to see how well we're doing and predict to some degree how well we're going to do in the future. So you've mentioned retention. To what extent is turnover important to the company and what's the value that you've managed to get from your innovations? For us it's critical. 75% of Cisco's costs are people related expenses and for us what that means is about three billion dollars of expenses and so when we can move retention of our marketing associates which we have about ten thousand marketing associates if we can move that retention rate from seventy percent to eighty percent for us that means approximately and with with ten thousand marketing associates that's approximately a fifty thousand dollars per marketing associate uh, turns out to be over seventy million dollars of savings per year. Since 1998 we've moved our marketing associate retention from seventy percent to eighty two percent. Our delivery where, uh, where our delivery associates which are a very critical success uh, to Cisco because they know the customers they're the ones that they customers rely on getting their groceries to them on time and in the condition that they expected and in order to get them on time you need to have the same person going to the same customer uh, on a regular basis. For us we were able to move our delivery associates for about from about 65 percent retention rate in 1998 to 85 percent and we've costed out the, set, the, uh, the training and hiring loss for delivery associates to be about $35,000. So again, almost another $50 million in savings when we made that kind of contribution. Which for Cisco uh, investors, that's about every five million is a penny per share. So there's 10 cents right there. 